Hi, welcome to Photoshop tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to make a save the date flyer for your church event. First of all, you go to your file and we're going to click new in order to get a document and I'm going to name it Youth Congress. All right. And as you see, U.S. paper letter eight and a half by 11, um, just big enough and we can go back and crop it if we need to. So I'm clicking OK. So we're going to start with, um, as you see, the background is what I'm, I want to look at first with the shape in the back. And that shape in the back, as you see, is not an ordinary shape. So we're going to go down here at the bottom. And it is a custom shape tool. Usually you'll see like something like rectangle or rounded or ellipse tool. But we're going to go to custom shape tool. And once we go there up here to give us options that we can go to. So as you see, we can do arrows. We can do any type of thing. So I'm just going to do the banner style. So once I click on the banner, I'm going to make it like so. All right. And so it comes out black. And why? Because the background color right here is listed as black. Now, as you see in the background, there is a yellow that is peeping from under there. So what I'm going to do is I can go down here and change my foreground color by um, left click clicking it and go to my yellow here. And it comes up. So what I can do is I can go here. And I can duplicate that letter, that layer. And when I duplicate it, it does come out to be um, that black color as well. So I'm going to go to my fill. And when I go to fill, I can go right here where I just changed it. And I can pick the most recently used color. And that was yellow. So as you see, it was in the front of my black and I don't want it there. So I'm going to let these trade places. So I'm going to left click it, move that, drag that up. And my black is right on top again. Click this here and I'm, I can name it yellow. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, click the move tool so I can slightly move it down so it can peek out. OK. So as you see, it's peaking there and the same thing is going here. This looks like it's far away. So let me zoom in a little bit. So I'm going to hit Control Plus to make it a little bit bigger so that I can see it better. OK, so now the next step, if you look, there is a watermark logo in the background. So I'm going to go get my logo by clicking File and come down to Place Embedded. And so when I do that, it's, gonna, it's taking me where I need to go. And I'm going to place it. And when it comes up, as you see, that's a huge document, a huge um, logo right here. So let me make it smaller. And not only is it um, big, but it's also covering up part of my shape. So as you see in the background, it is um, a black background there. And I don't need that. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go here and go to my eraser tool. And if you look, this eraser tool is here, background, and then magic eraser. I want a magic eraser so that I can pretty much at one click, I can get rid of all of this black in the background. As you see, there's a no sign. So that means that it's not rasterized. That means I cannot um, do anything with it. So if, but if I click it, it's going to give me the option. Do I want to rasterize a smart object? And yes, I do. When I do that, it allow me to click on there and there my black background is gone. I'm going to go to my move tool and I'm going to take this up. And when I take it up, I'm going to, as you see, it's behind the black. I don't need it behind the black. I need it in front of it. So I'm going to go over here, drag it up so it can be in front of it. All right. And once I do it, I need to resize it because as you see, is um, bigger than what I need. So I'm going to take my control T and control T allows me to transform it to whatever size I need it transformed. Okay. And with that being done, it's there. Now, as you see, it's, it's um, not a watermark in the background. It's not in the background. So I'm going to go over here to opacity. It's on 100%. So I'm going to decrease it down 
to um, just to show slightly. And as you see, it's up to you on how how much you want to um, to make it um, transparent or whichever way you want it. So from there, now I'm ready to start writing in. Okay, so I have saved the date. So let me go. I'm gonna start with save. And as you see up here is yellow. And I don't want it yellow, I want it the bluish color. So once I click on that, left click it, I can go to my blue, find my blue. All right. And then whenever I type, then it should come up the way that I need it. So I'm gonna write save. Okay. As you see, it looks like it's a little compressed together compared to here. And it also looks smaller as well. So I'm going to go to character and I'm going to just slightly let it come a little, um, just spread it out a little bit. And then I can also increase the, um, the height of it here. Okay. And then I'm just going to go and make it bigger also at the top. So let me show you what I just did. Up here is where you can um, resize it. And as you see, that's really big. So let me make it a little bit big, um, smaller. All right, so it can fit. Okay, so I have save there. I want that same thing to be for date, okay? So all I did was duplicate it, like the same way I did the shape. And I'm going to move it down. And I'm going to double click it and write the word date. OK, so I have save and I have date. Make sure it lines up. And usually you have like a um, let me go up here to the move tool. So it show the marks as you see the little purple marks right there just to make sure that you know that it is um, where it needs to be. So I have save and date now. So I need the in the middle. So I'm going to go to my text tool and I need lowercase. So I have the, as you see, it's in blue. I'm going to change this to black. All right. And I want, you know, this right here, I want that type of font. So um, I can, I'm going to double click the to highlight it. And I'm going to find my, it's just whatever, whatever way, whatever um, you want to put up here. I usually use Black's Word, um, but whatever, Black's Word regular, but it's it's up to you on what you want to use. And I want to make it a little bigger, um, not too big, but not too small. So it pretty much has that effect. So save the date. I can make it smaller as well going up here and um, or bigger just or in putting it together it's just up to you I move the date just up, up a little bit and save just you know uh, save down a little bit but like I said it's just up to you on how you want to make it all right so now I have saved the date and come down just a little bit yeah to go in um, as you see that purple line there and I can do the same thing now here all right, get that purple line there. Okay, so that's all lined up. So the next thing I have is Youth Congress. And as you see, we have the yellow and then we have the blue down there. So let me start with Youth. And I want back in Arial. So I have Youth. All right, I'm bringing this up here. And as you see, it was in yellow. So I don't need it in blue. I'm going to change this. And I can use my eyedropper to get that that yellow that I need right there. And I make it smaller if I want to. All right, so I have youth. And the next one I'm going to have is, let me duplicate it to get the same font. And double click it to get Congress. All right, let me move it down for you so it won't be so confusing. Okay, so now I want to compress this so it can all fit where, where it needs to fit. All right, and it was in blue, so I'm going to make it blue, like, and use my eyedropper, okay? And as you see, I can uh, make it bigger as well. Now, a way I can transform it, Control-T once again, 
and I can make it big, I can stretch it, whatever way you want to do it is fine. But you can stretch it to be, um, to look any way that you want it to look. All right, so that's good. Let me get rid of this character over here. All right, so we have Youth Congress Save the Date. Um, so the next thing we're going to look at is the, the, the actual date. We have June 23rd through the 24th. So let me write that in. All right, so we have June 23rd through 24th. Okay, so I have that written in. And as you see, the, I vary the colors. It was white and then yellow. So we're going to make this white. Just highlight June, make it white. And then this was yellow here. Hard to see um, right now, but we're going to move it to where we can see it. Okay, so let's move it up right here. As you see, it's really, really big. So let's make it smaller. Double click it. Let's go down on the text. All right. So from there, I'm going to line it up. There we go. Now, also, as you see, there's a little line there and then Bisco and then the 2017 right there. So I want the same effect. I'm going to just um, put in, let me put in Bisco. So let me duplicate this, double click it and get Bisco and then just move it on over. OK, so that's Bisco, North Carolina. And so as you see, it's going to have to be a little smaller as well. So um, I want to add in the NC. So double click it again and put it in NC and let's make it smaller. All right. Well, you know what? We can just compress it a little bit more. OK, so let's compress it. Let's put it together. So, OK on the character let me use uh, move that june 23rd over some okay now what i did just did i use my arrow button so i clicked on that and click this and i use my arrow button to move it so you can also do that as well now as you saw there is a line in between there so i can go down here to my my tool and i'm going to go to rectangular tool and i just want to make a a line like this okay and I can make it blue as you see it's yellow so I can come up here under my field and um, right here you see this color it lets you if you click on it it's your color picker so I'm just going to use this eyedropper to get the blue that I need and as you see it turns to blue so now I just want to move it on up to where it needs to be okay and as you see those arrows right there, it just it helps you with that. If I want to make it a little shorter, control T, and then I can just use my arrows just to make it, you know, in tune with what I already have right there. Okay. And apply the transformation. Yes, I do. So because I transform it. All right. So it's the same height as the B. As you see, this is taller. You know, it doesn't, you know, it's just up to you on how what your look is. Um, so now we're gonna put in the 2017 that's here. Same concept, 2017. Um, and I'm gonna make it smaller. All right, and I'm gonna put it up here, up under there. Um, where you put it is up to you. It's just your own preferences that matters, all right? So 2017. Um, now, at the top, we have City of God Covenant Ministries, and then at the bottom, the presiding um, prelate is there, the name. So let's go back here, and I'm going to put in City of God Covenant Ministries, all right? And it was up here, and it, and it was black, right? And it was of a different font. Now I can go up here and get another font, um, uh, a thinner one. Let's do a Calibri Light. Okay, I can do that. You can do something different if you want. It's up to you. So City of God Covenant Ministries, I can put that there. Okay. Not quite the font that was used here because that's a little darker. Um, also, I want to put in that little apostrophe. All right, so we can make it dark. If you want to make it darker, double click it, go here and do bold. Okay, so it's still the same concept. And I'm going to use that same one. So let me duplicate it and I'm going to pull it down here 
so that we can put J. Donald Edwards II, presiding bishop. All right. So J. Donald. Mm -mm. All right, Edwards, okay, the second, and he is the presiding bishop, all right? Now, I can make that a little bit smaller, pull that in by my character, um, just to put it where I need to. I don't have to have it that tall either. I can pull that down as well. Um, and pull it up and now as you see the save the day you know we can we can adjust a whole bunch of stuff on this so as you see the save the day it looks like it's bigger than the I mean it's smaller and I can move things over so what I can do is I can um, I want save and I want the so I'm going to control uh, left click and then control left click all of that and then control T. All right. So once again, in order to highlight all of those at one time, I was able to do the control of that um, control of all of that just to get it to where I needed to to go to make that a little bolder and the same height as that. And as you see, OK, I'm, I'm running into that. So if I want to move that over. Same concept. I can do uh, the click that. I can control click that as well. Control click everything that is within there if I really if I wanted to. Um, so I can do the Youth Congress. I can do June twenty third, two thousand seventeen. Um, all of these. Well, let me once again let me right click it. So let me click right click right. Cl I'm not. I'm sorry. We get left clicking it. OK, left clicking everything that is inside. All right. Bisco as well in the little rectangle and control T. So as you see, it it clicks all of that. All of that is included on the move. So I'm going to move that over. All right. OK, very good. And I can go back and move this over here and I can move this over here line it up all right and I mean it's a lot that you can do with this even taking all of this what I just showed you and um, and just taking it and and putting it in um, um, having everything moved at one time by you know shift I can do it by you know or control and left click it in any way that you want to do it um, it's up to you on how there's many different ways it can happen uh, I can do everything except the save the date um, save the date you know I can I can highlight everything and do that and then control that and then I can adjust it any way that I want to adjust it. Okay. So that makes it on the same level as that. So, I mean, even if it doesn't look like you want it to look, you can go through and you can adjust it any way that you want. Okay. So the very last step we're going to do is we're going to let's do that transformation. We're going to crop it. So go to crop here. All right. And let's bring this down. And we're going to bring this up because we want it to look exactly like we had it. All right. May not look exactly like it, but it's close to it. All right. So as you see, there we go. Youth Congress. All right. And we're good. And went to save it. You just file it and you can save as if you want to save it as a JPEG um, in order for you to post it. You can go here. Um, I'm going to go down JPEG and I can save it as Youth Congress. Save the date. Um, all right. And there it is. It's saved. Thank you for watching.